Hey everyone and welcome in this new video. Today we are going to see how to create boxes, uh, structures, blocks, let's call it like that, maybe it's the easier way, on your WordPress website with Elementor of course. And you will learn, you know, all the basics on how to create those. I'm Aryan Shirani, welcome to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate guys if you can like this video, subscribe to the channel and notification bell. This would help me a lot with my channel. So let's start right away. Here we are. So I'm going right away uh, by clicking on this plus button to choose a structure with two columns. So by clicking on here, now I have two uh, columns, of course, and I'm also going to um, add an inner section on the right of this column. But first, let's add some text. So I'm going to click on this plus button, heading, drag and drop it here. And then um, let's add also some text. So by clicking here, text editor, drag and drop it here. And of course, we can also add a button like always, right? So click here and drag and drop your button. Great. Now I'm going to give a little color to this column so that we can work on it. So I'm going to click on this column here and then I'm going on style and background, click on classic. Of course, I'm going to change the color. I have some default color here, very light. And then I'm going to play with the paddings. So with the column selected, of course, we are going on advanced and then I'm going to change the padding. So padding has pixel and everything. So make sure it's on percentage. And when it's on percentage, just on padding, just, you know, uh, add 10%, for example. And we can also play with the margins. Um, so for margins, we can just, you know, click on here and just um, try out what happens. Uh, you will have some white borders. So just check the white borders and, uh, you know, go on how much margin you need. So in this case, I guess I'm going with like 15. Okay. And I am also going to change a little bit the text. So I'm going to change the style of this text by clicking on style typography and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger Oops, like that okay and um, I'm going to change the text here so um, let's let's change the weight first let me see how 700 we can play with that of course and on content I'm going to write Okay, build amazing wireframes. Great, so we made the text, everything looks great. Um, of course, now we need um, to add some other boxes. So uh, before doing that, I usually get um, here on the selection, on the section, sorry, I click on it and on height, I just, you know, click on mean height. With mean height selected, you can actually, you know, add some spacing as you wish but I guess that we are going, you know, to keep it like this. And of course, then uh, I usually um, add an inner section on the right column. So let's see how it works. I'm going on this icon here and then I'm going to click on inner section, drag and drop it here. OK, and as you can see, we have um, our inner section inside the column. But uh, it's really hard to see the column because it's behind the inner section. So let's click on this section again. And this time on column position, I'm going to make it stretch. So now with column stretch, as you can see, the columns, the main columns are stretching depending on the minimum height. So if I change this, the columns, uh, you know, just stretch. OK, so let's make it like that. Let's, um, you know, add a five, a 600 maybe in our case. OK, like that. And then what I'm doing, I'm clicking on this column here and layout and then vertical align. Click on this and make it middle. OK, so this looks great. Now I'm going to add some text in all these boxes. But first, I'm also going to add another inner section just below this one. So right click, duplicate. And as you can see, we have two inner section. I'm going to remove this column. And now we have two column on the top and one column on the bottom. OK, great. So let's add some text to fill in those 
um, columns. So I'm going to click on this icon here, heading, okay, just drag and drop it in the first one, just copy this, paste it here like this and paste it here like this. Great. Now we are going to copy the style of this column. So I'm going on this main column here, right click, copy, go on this inner column, not this one, but the inner one, right click and paste style. As you can see, the style was pasted. So I'm going to do the same thing to this one, paste style and also to this column, right click, paste style. Great, so now the spacing looks a little bit strange. We are going to fix it right away. Um, so first of all, I'm going to remove the main column spacing because the main column for, of default is adding some spacing. So I'm going to click on this column, okay? Advance and just, you know, double click on this, okay? And double click on this so that we are sure that all the main column spacing are removed. Great, so now I'm going to select this inner section and as the main section, we are going to change the height to a mean height. And here we can play with the height, of course, like this, and then we can do the same thing to this one, okay? So I'm going to click on this other inner section now and the height, where is it? Is it here, mean height? And as you can see, we can play with this and everything adapts, right? So I can make it like that, for example, okay? And now I can also add some text or, you know, some images, icons, whatever I want, because the structure is made. Of course, we need to play a little bit with the margins. I don't like the margins like that. They are like, th there is too much margin. So I'm going to click on this column here, okay? Advance, and we can remove the margin. Let's make it 10, maybe it's better. So I'm going to now copy again this one, like that and paste style, same thing. As you can see, if we change something, we can paste the style to every column. So let me check, looks a little bit better. Of course, you know, you can play with it, you can make it better. Let's say I want this one to be a little bit, you know, more as squares instead, like that, okay? And now let me check it again, looks a little bit better. And now of course we can go and style all the text, right? So let's, uh, you know, add some text to this one, for example. So I'm going to play with the widget and um, text editor here, okay? And here we can, you know, add some content like, I love cats, style, typography. We can transform it, make it, oh, sorry. Um, weight, we can make it like one 800 and we can play with the size, you know, you can play with that. Here we can even, you know, add some other content, drink coffee, oops, every morning. It's just a random text. <laughs> so click on this column here, style. So let's play with this color and I'm going to add like primary and now I'm going to select the inner text again here. It's a little bit invisible, but style and make it white, like text color, just make it white, looks great. We can even, um, you know, style the typography, like, like let's play with it like, like this. Maybe we can also make it, you know, uh, like that or even like this. Let's, you know, uh, add some cool styling just select bold okay and here of course like um just show me your banner show me you can you know just add some lines like that and we can even style this typography so you can play you know with this kind of stuff you can actually make uh, whatever you want and everything adapts depending on how much uh, content you added so as you can see, okay, so you can play with it and of course uh, add whatever you want. You can even add images on the background. You can even, let's say, you know, if you want this 
um, this banner here, let's say this banner clickable, you can you know make it clickable with some um, some features, or you can just click this column and make like a mouse hover if you want. So just click on style for example, just go on hover, and here you can um, you know change the color of the mouse hover by clicking on classic and let's say uh, I want the light color so now if I mouse over this change color so yeah so yeah you are you're actually done here you can play with it as I said and do many cool stuff let's check the mobile version right now because that's also very very important so usually if you click on this responsive mode here on the uh, left button uh, you can click also on mobile version and most of the time the mobile version will uh, automatically make this uh, mobile friendly. So if I remove this bar and I check uh, the preview, uh, this looks uh, working fine actually, but you can, um, you know, change the text sizing for example, because for the mobile version this is too big, is it? actually getting out from the screen so I'm going to click on style typography and here I can actually uh, you know change the text for mobile only like that I love cats it's great and everything is great you can change the padding for the mobile version so um, that's that's the main things that you can do so let's go back on the desktop version as you can see nothing is changed even if the text was changed on mobile version and the structure uh, it's pretty cool so I really suggest you to use it on your client's site or on your own. Great! The final result was really really nice uh, you can really play with this uh, you can do whatever you want you can style it uh, in different ways the important is that now you have a structure. Uh, if you want to download this template in the description of this video, of course, you will have a link and you can get your uh, free template. Once again, guys, I remember you to like this video, subscribe to the channel and notification bell if you want to be always notified and learn more with me. See you in the next video. Bye.